Hey guys, Nick Finzer here, and I just want to take a couple of minutes to talk about trying to be as efficient and effective with your practice time as you can. As things get busy in your life, uh, sometimes we don't have as much time to go through our long warm-up routine as we would usually like to. And as a trombonist, as a brass player, we have to always be dedicated to the craft of our instrument and always making sure that we're taking care of our chops. So for me, what I like to do is try to kind of combine together a couple of elements uh, of warming up and kind of the basics. So for me, always thinking about so sound and long tones, thinking about flexibility and, and getting around the instrument, uh, combining those thing two things together into an exercise uh, that, I'm, that I like to borrow from my uh, one of my teachers, Steve Teray, uh, it, and it's in two parts. So the first part sounds like this. And so if you can get a partner and they can play uh, the second part, which would go like this. So with each part, we're kind of working on not only trying to make the best sound that we can, but we're working on getting between those partials real quickly. And then you can move them down uh, chromatically. You can go up chromatically. And it's a great tuning exercise between uh, you and your partner. But even on your own as an exercise all by itself, I find it to be extremely effective of getting warmed up pretty quickly, combining t together some flexibility elements and always thinking about sound. So it sounds something like this. I think you get the idea. Another thing that I like to do is practice lip bends and combine it together with long tones and again kind of flexibility and getting the coordination of the slide and the air and the tone. So what we'll do is uh, this is borrowed again from uh, a trumpet exercise. You hear trumpet players doing this all the time. I'm sure one of them can tell you where it, where it comes from. I forget which book exactly but you just use a major triad you're starting on the fifth so in this case we'll start on f for a b flat triad and we're just going to go up a step back to the f again and then we're going to pitch bend down either a half step or a whole step i'm going to bend it down a whole step uh, but you can start with a half step on your own and this really gets the air moving uh, to get the pitch to bend you got to use a lot of air and control of the buzz in order to make that happen so it sounds something like this And if you noticed, I didn't use any tongue at all. I was just trying to move this slide as quick as I could out from first to fourth to get that D. There's a little bit of a gliss in there, and obviously we want to try to eliminate it as much as we can. And then we kind of move that around the horn. You can play it down in the lower register. Or you can take it into the upper register where the individual partials are going to be closer together and makes that bend even a little bit more difficult. So as I go up, I might only do a half step bend rather than a whole step bend. Now the other thing in talking about trying to be efficient and effective with your practice time is going to be utilizing something like a practice journal uh, to try to keep track of your progress, to plan ahead. So when you start your session, uh, you say, I'm going to work on these things today, maybe two things, maybe one thing to try and get things rolling. And then at the end of the day, marking down what we actually played and then over time we end up having a great record of what we worked on and you're able to see how efficient and effective you're really being. As we get rolling with the school year I hope that you might think about in your own practice how to one use a practice journal, two 
how to be most efficient and effective in three, how you can combine some of your routine to pare it down to make it a little bit faster uh, and, and get yourself ready to go a little bit more quickly. If you want to see more about some of these exercises, uh, get them written down, you can check out uh, my book. It's called Get Ahead, a practical gu guide for the developing jazz trombonist. Uh, but it's really for anyone that's interested in just getting a little better, taking their trombone playing to the next level, particularly if you're looking to go into school for music and you're in high school or middle school right now and you're just looking for a few little pointers that are going to help you get over the next hurdle. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.